Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I believe today is, is the 16th, yes, March 16th. And uh, back out here at this spot where I caught a pretty good in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, I will leave a link in the description below and actually put a tag over here in the, in the corner so you guys can check that out. But something smells dead. Either way, we're gonna try something a little different now. Got a cold front that came in yesterday. The high was 48 degrees, today's high is 55. Prior to that, we were kinda in the 60s, high 60s. And these fish are moving around pretty good out here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna use a couple search baits. Well, only one search bait. We're gonna use a jackhammer for a little while. Then we're gonna use bottom base, jigs and Texas rigs though. Got the wind blowing into us up on these points. We're gonna do this flat. You guys, we're gonna get at it. Hope we can catch some of these fish. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, stick with me and stay tuned. Here we got the jackhammer. Get my camera right there. Jackhammer right now. Not expecting these fish to be moving as good as they were. Uh, a few days back, really not expecting that to happen. But I could be wrong, water temps could be higher than what I'm expecting, or what I think. But, in my opinion, they should be. Should be a little slow on the bottom. This is a little flat right here. I'm casting into a spawning flat. Okay, either be here or not. We're definitely gonna try to figure out. Plenty of time to figure out. In reality, this is what you want to be moving bait. Should be. Should be munching. But just because you got wind doesn't mean you always have to use a moving bait. Back on this point. I'm gonna try to make our way down here, guys. I avoided this spot last time. But I just have to try it now. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. As long as I can get down without breaking my neck.
Texas is red. Right up and down this, this wall area. tree down there. Guys, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Look at them. Solid in there. First official fish on the vector hook, blue tungsten combination. Solid, solid male fish looks like. Right where we should have been around this rock wall. Solid fish guys. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Alright. My fish down. This hook performed quite well I must say. I let the fish fight a little bit to see if he was going to shake it. And obviously he wasn't. No? Nope. 
Let's see what else is down there. It was a good solid two and a half, maybe three pounder. Short but fat. Oh, that's a big one right there. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's freaking go. It's all there for you guys. Scale here. Reset zeros. Got us in at six twenty two, guys. Giant, giant fish. Got on that vector hooks. Look at that tail. She's been doing her thing. Get her back in this water so she can live to see another day. and fell in the freaking water. Just a little guy. It could have been 
check out that hook there, guys. So, super extra wide gap, I'm gonna say. Five out. Just text the this brook. We have a pit boss. Go to your local Bass Pro Shops and pick those up. These pictures are not coming off. Not at all. I'll come back through the same area and see if I can pick off a female if she's around. Well, guys, that concludes today's fishing. I uh, had the cold front come in yesterday. Today, still a little bit cold. Starting to pick back up and warm tomorrow. But what I found out yesterday, didn't record, but I found a few fish further out in deeper water fishing the, uh, the jackhammer. But went out to the same spot in my previous video, fishing slower. Uh, I did try to use some moving baits. Nothing worked out, nothing pan out for that. But ended up throwing a Texas rig, Berkeley Habit Pit Boss. Um, the color, I don't know the color, but either way, I'll find out what it is. Leave the link in the description below. You can find these at your local bass pro shops all over the country, guys. Uh, plenty of them. It's a, it's a, it's a major bait, guys. Berkeley Habit Pit Boss catches big fish all the time. Uh, you can use it on trailers for jigs. You can use it on trailers for swim jigs, Texas rig, uh, Carolina rig. A lot of different applications you can use it on. But I use it today on Texas rig with the vector hooks. I'm now pro stab with vector hooks. It was a 5 odd extra raw, extra wide gap hook with a 5 16 ounce Wu Tungsten bullet weight. 15 pound. Sunline FC Assassin, seven foot three, medium heavy, Enigma HPT rod. So, guys, there you have it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll leave a tag. Actually, I think I left one again. I'll leave another one for you. Check out some of my previous videos. But hope you guys check out the last video. Awesome day on the water. Two six pounders and a couple more fish mixed in. Today was a decent day. Not as many, but we still figured out something. Those two fish I did catch, in my mind, I believe they were off the same bed. Blind bed fishing, it can happen, depending on the water temperature, depending on the area uh, where you're fishing. So, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.